What is your role or title on the show? Uh, well, my name is Megan Rothschild and I am a co-host on Skin Talk. Have you or someone you, you know been affected by skin cancer or melanoma? So I am actually a 10 year melanoma survivor myself. I was diagnosed at the age of 20, uh, but my grandmother was a basal cell survivor as well. So I do have a personal connection to melanoma and skin cancer. What is the main message you wanna get across through the show? The message that we wanna communicate with Skin Talk is First and foremost, we want people to be aware of their skin. Um, we want people to be checking their skin and we want people to be knowledgeable about what melanoma is. Um, this talk show really began because we just want to spread awareness about skin cancer. What is your career outside of Skin Talk? So when I'm not co-hosting Skin Talk, I run a full service marketing, PR, and design firm called Chick Media which focuses on women-run and women-owned organizations. So what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? I think the best piece of advice that I've ever received is to follow my gut, um, to really kind of pay attention to the feeling you get, whether you know something is wrong or you know something is right. Um, it's actually my gut was the reason why I had the mole that ended up being a melanoma. Um, that's the reason why I had it removed, because something in my gut said that it was it was suspicious and needed to be taken off. So paying attention to that, that sense and, and following your gut is the best advice I've ever received. What is your dream vacation? <laughs> so I know this probably sounds silly, but I think aside from some tropical getaway, my dream vacation is Disney World. Um, I'm a huge theme park fan. I love rides. I love roller coasters. Um, and I just absolutely love going to Disney. I think it's a really happy place and it's a lot of fun. So anywhere where there's adventure to be had would be my dream destination. Who is your main inspiration or role model? Does it have to be someone famous? It can be anyone. I think that, I don't know if I necessarily have one main inspiration or role model. I really look up to my sisters and my mom. Um, I think they're extremely strong women and they've made me into the person that I am today. Uh, but there are so many positive role models out in the world, just women who are starting businesses, women who have a message to share. Um, but I definitely would have to defer to my mom and my sisters as some of my strongest role models. So the most important one, if, <laughs> if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? If I had to eat one food for the rest of my life, I think it would have to be pizza. Um, for some reason, I don't ever get sick of it, and I've eaten it sometimes for two meals in a, one day. Um, pizza's definitely my go-to comfort food, so I'd, I'd have to choose that. So what is your favorite thing to do outside of your career and the show? I would have to say, if it's not traveling, then it's spending time with my animals, with my dog, um, taking her places. I'm a huge animal lover. I have been all my life. Um, I originally started to go to school for marine biology um, because I just wanted to be surrounded by animals all the time. So since I wasn't able to really pursue that as a career because I'm terrible at math and you need math for all that type of thing, all those types of things, um, I've surrounded myself in my personal life with animals. So definitely um, just spending time with my fur babies. So how do you balance your work life? Um, you know, I think that one of the really great things about what I do as a profession is that I love it so it doesn't really feel like a job it feels more like just a personal passion um, but it's really important especially having been a cancer survivor it's important for me to make time for myself and one of the things I, I think I'm pretty good at is I actually schedule personal time personal reflection or a massage or some sort of personal pampering for myself every week um, because you have to re you regenerate. You have to give yourself and your body time to recover from the week and from the stress. Um, and I think, like I said, having had the cancer, it's really taught me how important that is. So it's just making time for yourself and being able to say no to people when they try to infringe on that time. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah.